Welcome to part seven. We just came back from our nice little short 10 minute one where we just went and added card IDs. Sorry, that's probably wicked boring, um, but uh, it's gonna be useful for us. So now we need to go to our deck. And in here, we're going to, here when we're dealing, all right, here when we're dealing, um, we need to tell the player what we're giving them. And uh, there's something to keep in mind here. So this is almost happening in the same frame. It might be taking a couple frames here, but this is almost happening in the same frame. And that's gonna be, we're gonna be sending a lot of RPCs if we do that that quickly. And it may break um, when it goes across the network. So what I thought about doing is since we don't need it to be flashing their hand up really fast anyways, because that's not really natural for a card game. What we might do here is since we're dealing, maybe we'll put like a, a half second, 0.3 second wait or something like that. Um, so that's how we're going to, we're going to put a wait state there just to make sure that we're not sending too many RPCs at the same time. So this is our first time where we actually get to get some information from our scriptable object. So it's been a few episodes, but remember we are getting the top card from the deck and we're storing it as top card. But now we want to give it to the current player. So the host is already going to know because the host owns the deck. So the host is already going to know that the player has it. But we need to tell all the other players that that player has it. So what we're going to do now is we are going to get property also, get property is a great action to where let's say you are you have purchased an asset from the asset store that doesn't have Playmaker integration and you want to control it somehow, but it's got like some built-in script over here on the side, um, like this button. I can just pretend it's uh, a random asset script that does stuff. I can grab this and drag it into my state and I can use get property, set property. All right. Um, now, if it's got Playmaker elements, you'll be able to... Oh, and then like if there's methods on that script... Um, you can use call method, um, but if it's got uh, playmaker elements in it, then or it's got stuff playmaker recognizes, you'll see another toolbar for that as well. Um, but get property, set property, super useful. All right, but we're gonna do here is we're gonna get property of that top card. The property we want to get of this top card is just its ID. And then we're going to broadcast an RPC. And so what RPCs do is that is how all everybody stays in sync. So you're sending a string across the network that tells everybody to do something. All right, so photon view RPC broadcast FSM event. And we don't need to broadcast it to ourselves because the host already knows. Um, so we're gonna choose targets for others. Um, I mean, I could choose all and then exclude self, but I'm just going to choose others. It's the same thing. And we need an event. Um, so we're going to, I already have this event set up, take card. Um, if I, I don't have an event, Philip, it's because I created it when I first started um, part six, but it wasn't in the part six that you saw. But it's just a take card event. And the data that we want to send is this ID. Now we might be able to convert it. So if we go to convert, it won't let us convert that ID. So what we'll do is we'll take uh, int to string. Here we go, convert int to string. And the int we want is property. Oh, we didn't store it. <laughs> what do you mean, Philip? You didn't store it. I'm over here, I stored it. I'm gonna store it as card ID. And then I probably don't need to convert it. Let's see, if we go to string data, convert card ID, there we go. Now, sometimes uh, these photon actions don't seem to convert very well. Um, so um, we might find that I have to use do the manual convert anyways, but we'll see how this goes. So to wait for a second, can't remember what I was doing. I'm pretty sure we're here. <laughs> okay. Um, so we got the card ID. We're setting the card ID. Great. Um, so now we need to actually go to the players. And go to the uh why did i get rid of that fsm all right so 
we need we're going to create a new episode um and this is going to be cards in hand oh shoot oh no oh no oh i got too delete happy right because um if we go all the way back to the deck when they were dealing you're getting the current players fsm name cards in hand okay well it'll be fine it'll be fine um we can just copy this value make sure that i named it the exact same thing there okay all right so let's edit this one all right um and we need an array um so we're gonna do an array and this array also need to be called cards in hand if you remember from several episodes ago and this array type is going to be an object and then the object type is going to be a card scriptable object and it's seven size i can't believe i deleted this episode I forgot how important it was all right um just for fun i'm gonna make this an input so that we can see the cards in hand right there and um yeah so we're going to add a state and add a global transition custom event what was it called take card all right take card so if you're new to photon we did a when we we'll go back um from the deck all right so when the game starts we hit the shuffle button shuffle button is turning then into a uh, uh a deal button when the deal button is hit we are getting the top card from the deck that's already been shuffled and then we are setting it, the host is setting it into that player they're dealing to it's array of hands, but then we need to tell all the other players um, to update their machines for what that player's hand is containing. And so we're sending the event to take card and we're telling that event what the card ID is. And so now if we come back to the player and we go to the cards in hand FSM, take card, wait a moment, because we need more data. Because if we then say um, get event string, all right, and it's the card ID, what's happening is every single player is getting this receipt of event, except for the host, because the host is taking care of it themselves. Um, but we need to know if this is the player that's supposed to receive that card. Because right now we're saying, hey, I have a card for somebody. Is it yours? We have no way of knowing if it belongs to that player. So let's go back to the deck. And we need more information. So we need to get, um, how did I do this before in the episode I didn't record? We need to get some way of identifying the player. So what we can do is we can get photon view. What's funny is I've never done this before. I've usually done like get owner properties and then I, I do a bunch of stuff with that. I don't know why I've never tried just doing the get the photon view ID. Uh, I think that's actually a better idea. Uh, and what we're gonna do now is we want to get it of the current player that we're dealing to. We wanna get their view ID which is, I still have that variable there from whenever I was did my first recording for part six, but didn't actually send to you guys. All right, so we need to now build string. And we're gonna have two parts in this string. The first one is going to be the view ID, convert view ID. And then the second one is gonna be the card ID, convert card ID, okay. And we're gonna separate with a comma and we're gonna call this, actually I already have a variable still there I can use, RPC string. All right, you'll have to create one if, you, if you're following along. All right, so now instead of sending the card ID here, I'm going to send RPC string here. All right, so now we can go back to the player, cards in hand FSM, and now we're going to, we get that string, and um, I'm gonna rename that card ID string to 
RPC string. So we get that RPC string and then we're going to string split. And what this does is it takes this string that we've separated with a comma and it puts it into an array, RPC string array. All right, and so now when we have that, we're going to array get the first index of the RPC string array. Index zero is the first index, and that is going to be the view ID. Okay, um, let's call that something else. I'm still gonna use view ID, but I'm gonna say RPC view ID. And so now I want to get the photon view ID of the owner of this card player because we have a photon view component on here so we want to get this and so oh that one's a string i can't use that um view id goodbye um uh, we're going to get this view id and we're going to call this view id and then we're going to string compare this might not work because um, I'm going to convert it on the fly. We're going to convert, we're going to compare the RPC view ID to convert view ID. And if they're equal, we're going to take the card. Nah, I should probably make it use a different event name. Um, that's me. <laughs> I'll just call it that's me. All right. And then if it's not equal, it's just gonna sit there for all eternity until it receives the take card event again. All right, coffee time. 11 minutes, okay. So, what are we gonna do? Um, let's just get RPC string here. Um, what are we gonna do here? Now we're going to set our hand, set card to hand, something like that. Okay, so now we're going to array get the, what array are we getting from? No, we're not array getting. Yes, RPC string array. We're getting index one, which is the second index. And we're gonna store this as our card ID. And what are we going to do with that card ID? We are going to array get from our, ooh, I would, I would like to take this deck. Um, can we do FSM array? Get FSM array item. Yes, let's do that. All right, it's kind of nice having the deck in its own separate game object, so we'll keep that. So we're gonna specify the game object. We're gonna take it from our player's deck. And let's call this the player deck. And then we're gonna get it from the deck FSM, from the deck of cards. And what index do we wanna get? We're gonna get that card ID. The type is an, an object. What type of object? It's a card scriptable object, and we're gonna store the value as the card. I don't know. All right, so we should probably do these events, but we're not going to. And let's just see. Um, you know what, Once, since we have that, let's, oh, mm, let's just do that for now. Let's just do that for now. Let's see if this logic works. All right, so we're gonna hit play. Coffee time. What's happening? What's missing? We're still trying to connect. Nothing's happening. The last message we received was photon on disconnect. What's going on here? I've been having some weird issues. So it changed from peer connected to connected name server, peer connected on disconnected, but why? I did have some internet issues yesterday, but I don't think I'm having them now. Um, I'm just gonna stop and let's just try again. You're disconnecting right away, but why? 
Why did you disconnect? Last disconnection caused DNS exception on connect. I have never had this. Um, I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna Google that. So you might have all seen it. I was not connected to the internet down here. I'm connected now. Weird. I'm not sure how that happened. Maybe I bumped my airplane mode or something. I don't know. I don't think I have a Wi-Fi button on my keyboard. No. All right. Um, I'm surprised you didn't go into offline mode, but uh, let's just hit play. Connecting. There we go. A lot of fun stuff happening now. All right. So let's go over here. Um, I don't know if we did this in the previous parts. Um, oh, well, it's not here. Um, could have sworn I did this in a part you saw. I'm not sure why I didn't save. So I got to stop for a minute because a lot of our logic requires other players to join. Um, I'm going to create a new event here. Um, and that event is just going to be weird. That's not there anymore. Why isn't it there anymore? Um, I gotta go grab my kid. Be right back. So I'm just going to create a, uh, a test event here. I'm still really weirded out that it wasn't already here. Apparently I was using it somewhere because I typed test event and it automatically marked it as a global. It's pretty weird. Um, add global transition test event. I do not know what happened to that because I had that on there already. Uh, maybe I didn't save. Let's save. <laughs> um, so now if I hit play, um, even though my logic is waiting for a total of four players, right? It's waiting on the players to join. Um, I'm actually just going to alt click down here and it'll skip right ahead and instantiate the deck. There we go. So now if I, well, I'm not going to be able to see this probably, but we'll go ahead and shuffle and deal. We had some issue here. Oh, um, give to current player photon view, get ID missing photon view on target. Um, but why would you be missing a photon view on target? Because it doesn't have a current player. Why don't we have a current player? Oh, you know what? Well, no, we have a Ray get next player one. Oh, you know what? It did it and it just looped through to the next player and there wasn't one. Um, but it, at some point it must have grabbed player one there. Um, but you know, because we didn't build this, we never got this event because I told it to broadcast to others. So let's, uh, I'm going to build and run. All right. So this one up here, I think is my host. Um, and then this is, can I resize these windows? Yeah. This is uh, one of the players, and this is one of the players. Um, and so then I'm going to make player four my editor. All right, so here we are. I should be player four now. Um, player one is this guy. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle. And I'm going to deal. All right, notice down here my editor, there was an RPC that was sent and received. All right, so now let's see what happened. So I am player four. You know what? I never put a weight like I said I was going to. Here's my cards in hand. So you can see that at some point I got a card. Let's see what's our what our variables show. Oh, over here. Cards in hand, I got Jack. <laughs> why, don't, why don't I have any? All right, <clears throat> so here was our, uh, our, at least the last RPC we received um, that brought us down here. We, because um, we were player four, it should the last seven cards, the last card should have come to us. Um, let me pause for a second. All right, so... The card ID is 46. So we're going to, so we got the eight of spades. Oh, that's all we did. That's right. So we didn't put it in our hand yet. We didn't do that logic. So, so far everything's working. So we're going to stop the video here. Um, what is this? Part seven? Um, part eight, we're actually going to take this received card and actually put it into our hand and maybe we'll do a little bit more. So stay tuned for part eight.